So you had a bad day, take a one down, sing a sad song, just to turn it around, throw a pity party, be a victim. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop being a victim. Stop this immortalizing and worshiping of victims. It's like, it's disgusting in the media. It's so frustrating to see. It's like, hey, um, this person went through this over here. Well, this person went through this over here. Ooh, look how their value went up. Because of something they suffered through? Forget that. Forget that. Okay? That mindset is going to keep the world weak. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to all play some kind of respective jackass game. I mean, the show where you're like, look at how terrible my life is. And now I'm going to get the most points because my life is bad. No, no, you messed up. You messed up, society. You got to go one step further. You have to glorify the person that overcame the problem. So you were raised with adversity. You were raised without money. Your skin color is the wrong color. You were born in the wrong part of the world. You haven't eaten in three years. Like, whatever it is. You, your spouse left you. You've got 800 kids to raise. Ah! Yeah. And what are you doing about it? What are you doing to overcome these things? <laughs> really look at your life and see how... You glorify the damages you have, the, the adversity that you have. Really look at how you paint yourself as a victim. And society wants to paint you as a victim. When you could overcome that, you could rise above it. You could be so beyond that. Think of it like this. Say in my palm, I have a splinter. And, in, and that splinter is really big. So I've got some kind of injury, right? And it's bleeding. And I come to you and I've been playing with it. And it's all infected and there's pus it's like seeping down and it's still bleeding. And I walk up and I'm like, look at it. And I'm wiggling the sliver. Oh, look at it, look at it. It's so infected. Oh, it hurts so much. Look when I push it. Oh, it hurts. That person is insane. That, that person is so wrong. Like, you would not want to interact with that person. So why do you do that in your life? Why do you walk around and go, well, my parents beat me. Oh, well, you know, when I grew up, we had no money. And, you know, dad was an alcoholic. Or, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I've always been from the wrong demographic. So everyone's always against me. What are you painting as the story of your life? Why wouldn't you change that? Why wouldn't you pull the splinter out, put some medicine on it, get better, okay? And then later when people are comparing scars, like, oh, yeah, this, this was crazy. I had a splinter and, man, I just, I fixed it. I pulled the splinter out and I healed and this is how I did it. And, and you can actually help other people with a splinter walking around. Oh, you grew up like I did. You grew up from the same neighborhood. You're from the same people. You're whatever. You could then help them. You could then make the world a better place by reaching back and going, hey, all you in, in the same situation I was in. I know how to get out of that. I know what works. Check it out. And I come from where you're from. So please let me help. And you could live by example and do the same thing. Stop glorifying victimhood stop it 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 doesn't get you ahead it doesn't help solve the problem whatever made you a victim in the first place whatever problem is churning out victims whatever whatever situation is creating victors and victims it's not solving that it's glorifying the problem that's all that's all. I'm not saying there aren't problems. I'm not saying that you aren't a victim somehow. Uh, you get mugged, you're a victim of mugging. Hey, but what did you do after that? You probably had to go to the DMV and get a new license. You probably had to go to the bank, cancel all your cards and whatnot. That's the glorious part. The recovery is the glorious part. You wouldn't walk around and be like, I was mugged for years. You're better than that. You're so much stronger than that. You're way, way more capable than that.
And that's why I'm ranting about this. It makes me sad. It makes me so sad to see people wallow in their misery. Like, I could never get better because I'm, I'm, I have crippling depression. Jesus. So you just, you just accept the crippling depression. You're like, oh, I, I guess my life will just be miserable then. No, <laughs> no. Imagine what a badass you'll be when you figure out how to fix that for you. What if it's just circumstantial? What if your life just sucks? Make your life better. <laughs> Work on it. <laughs> Maybe it is a, a chemical imbalance. So figure out how to balance the chemicals in your brain. Maybe you need to exercise more. Eat better. Get on some SSRIs if that's necessary. You use the medicine that is necessary to fix you for the time it takes to fix you. Okay? I've known people who have to go on SSRIs. They, they take them for a while and then they feel like they're on their feet again. They, they wean themselves off them in a healthy way and they get back to their life. I'm not against that. But don't stay in the miserable place. Don't stay a victim. You know who wins when you stay a victim? It's the person that put you in that position. Sometimes that's you. Sometimes you're putting yourself in the victim position. But that's another topic for another time. You don't need to give those people that have wronged you the satisfaction of being a victim. You can instead rise up and be better than anyone ever expected, including yourself. You deserve a better life. You deserve a way better life than to tell yourself daily the narrative that you've been wronged, that you're injured, that you're a victim, that you're hurt, that you're incapable. You deserve better. And you only have a finite amount of time on the planet. Find a way. Find a way to make life better for you. You can do it. You have the same brain I've got. To whatever extent. Because I'm crazy. <laughs> You've got the same hardware I've got. Okay? You've got the same hardware that your friend has. That your family has. You can do it. Okay? Humans have been figuring stuff out since the dawn of time. We figured it out. We made it to now. Your ancestors didn't give up. Your ancestors didn't go, well, the mountain lion ate my wife, so I guess I'll just lay down and get eaten too. Stop. Ugh. We could be better. Right? We could be better. Good luck getting better. You can do this. I'm going to become a broken record at this point. So, thank you for watching. Know that this is coming from a place of compassion. This is coming from a place of love. I, I want you to have the best life ever. Ever! And you can have it. But make the choice to stop wallowing in depression. Wallowing in pain. It's just stop. It's time, time to grow past that. You can do it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. And if I'm